All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Paolo Costa and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. You want to fight? Get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bojashinha, but man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC Golden Boy. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Costa is 29, Masvidal is 35. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Marcinal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser, Costa! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, right you can. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with him strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. 
Watch the ability to land anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nice kick landed there by Costa. Right hand on point. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice straight there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, 25 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. How clean is that jab by Gamebred? Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Big power punch man. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Huge block there. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped to try to hit him for a takedown, he evades and escapes. He's a phenomenal fighter. Right hook to the head block. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big power shot there. Costa gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most if not all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Masvidal's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Costa. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Beautiful punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! Big body kick land. Misses with that punch. Final seconds of round one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch by Costa. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Costa's shot is blocked. Oh, nice. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Now connects with the right. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, he's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand in box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. So 92 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Jorge Masvidal. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so if you, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice punch land over the top. Costa's cut is only getting worse. Whoa! Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Damaging punch there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh, big knee. Oh! And there comes the separation now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Lance, a nice one, too. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. He always brings his hands right back to his face. Masvidal's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Good punch. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. 
He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. And he landed the right hand there. How about that chin? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh! That was a big strike. Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. a serious cut. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Costa gets caught with that punch. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Just misses with the left hook. There's no give on that leg kick. Costa gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So making 162 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. And if you care about the efficiency, connecting with a 37% accuracy rate against Jorge Masvidal. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Great punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this office. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, he might be out. Game break goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Punch is blocked. Whiffs on that offering. So a good job defensively by... Oh! Oh! oh, big left hook there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. 
Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body oh. language here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's out! Goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paolo the race All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.